Hey, 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 sis. You have finished day six. We're almost done with the first week. Time is flying. And you know what? What's really been helping me is diving into things of God as much as possible. Even when I catch myself slipping, you know, maybe I'm listening to something that's not, you know, of God or not the most wholesome per se. I'm like, oh, let me turn on, you know, better music. Let me, I don't really watch a lot of TV as it is, but let me watch a better, you know, show or YouTube channel or whatever. So just keep on keeping on. You got this. Like we're really making strides. But basically today, um, God was really dealing with me in my devotional time. And today was one of those days where I was really drenched in the spirit. Like y'all, my devotional time was long. I was crying. I felt like God was just shutting things off of me. And it was much, much, much needed. But what one thing that he really put on my heart was not to do things for the applause of man. And I know we hear that a lot. Like, you know, please God, not man, this, that, the third. But You know, lately I have been just witnessing a couple of things, having my own conversations, going through life, you know, you know how it is. And sometimes we allow our thorn to become our stumbling block, meaning that if you have a tendency, maybe you have a thorn in your side, I'll just speak for myself, where you felt like you were never really accepted. Like, let's say you felt like it was hard for you to really make friends that see you, because I'll say this, I'll put a pause here. I've never had a problem making friends in the sense of associates. For me, there's levels to friendship. Like I got the people that are really in my inner circle, like really, really close. And then I got like people I would call more so associates when I'm breaking it down. But just in a passing conversation, you might be like, oh, my friend, my friend, my friend. But there's levels to this. Like I was telling one of my friend, my friends this the other day. I was like, I got friends and I got friends. Okay. Like that F-R-A-N, like my friends, you got to, that takes more, you know? But either way, if you felt like you never really were seen or it was hard for you to make friends, friends, you know, (laughs) and get that close relationship and you battle with abandonment and rejection and all this kind of stuff, what you can find yourself doing when you start getting attention, when you start getting friends, when people are like ranting and raving and clawing for your attention, you can find yourself compromising and relishing in that compromise. So again, I'll just use myself for an example. I have always struggled with that. Not so much when I was younger. I would say in middle school, I started struggling with it. And then in college, I started struggling with rejection and abandonment, not feeling seen, not feeling like, you know, I really have anybody that truly understands me and stuff. There have been seasons in my life where it has been exacerbated. So I would say 2022 was one of those years where I really felt like, okay, I don't feel seen. I don't feel heard. A part of that was because of the church I was attending at the time. It was very cliquish. And so that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But I found myself wanting to compromise and doing things that are not becoming of me or not even really becoming of God or of who I really am just to gain their approval. You know, so it's like the thorn is the rejection and the abandonment. I've never felt like I fit in. I never felt like I really had friends for real or I never had genuine friendship. Maybe you always have people around you, but it was never really genuine or, you know, people would hate on you, whatever the case may be. And so you start getting that attention. And now that you are the one that people are calling to be around and all this stuff. Now you are compromising in your faith walk. And now you're doing things for their applause because they are the ones that are healing, quote unquote, the thorn in your side. The thorn was the rejection and abandonment. The compromise comes because now you're like, oh, I'm finally seen. People actually really want to be around me. Like I can finally let my hair down. But what happens when you let your hair down so far and so long to the point where you're doing things that you know are not pleasing to God, you know are not becoming of God, but you justify it because it's like, hey, like at least, you know, I'm not as bad as that person, or at least I never did that, you know, like, and you start pointing your finger at other people instead of looking at yourself. You start pointing out the speck in someone else's eye before you look at the plank in your own eye. And so that's something that God really placed on me because in this season of my life, I won't say I got people clawing for my attention or nothing like that. I mean, maybe in a way only because 
I, I founded this community. And so, you know, over the last two years, yes, I have had to enforce boundaries better and all this type of stuff. And, you know, that's been a journey that God has been on me with since I would say the last five to seven years. So I would say for at least the last five to seven years, my boundary setting has been way better. And especially over the last two years, like I don't play about that. And even still, I stumble. No one's perfect. Right. And I have to watch what I do. Am I trying to get the applause of certain people like, oh yeah, like, yeah, girl. Oh yeah. You her, you that girl, <laughs> you know, or am I trying to please God? <clears throat> and here's the thing. Sorry, I'm all clearing my throat in your ear and everything. <laughs> here's the thing. Pleasing God. There are certain non-negotiables like in the word of God that we know we all fall short, but are we willingly falling short? That's something that only you can resolve within yourself. I can't tell you where you're falling short. I can't, unless I know you like that, but I can't tell you where you're falling short. I can't tell you how to resolve that with the Lord. You got to take that to God, but you know what it is. That thing that came in your mind as I'm talking, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. You, that pride, that, you know, rebellion, that, um, you know, addiction, whatever it is, like whatever came in your mind, you know, but it's like, if you are allowing that to keep you the, the applause of man to keep you doing what you're doing, because at least you're not as bad as, or, oh, at least I'm doing da 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 da. Like you got to really check that because that's a, a version of pride that you don't want to allow to take over because at the end of the day, like I said, the word of God has certain non-negotiables where it's like, this is what you should be doing. And yes, we fall short, but you shouldn't willingly be falling short and reveling in that. And then there's other things that are conviction based. And so it becomes sinful when it's, when you're going against your own conviction, but you gotta, you know, those things too, like things that aren't so black and white in the word of God, but you know it. So, you know, just, I, I just wanted to share that today. Hopefully it really moves you to just do a self-evaluation while we're fasting. You know, a big part of this fast is to break things off, start new things, replace the old with the new things that can really help jumpstart us. Um, because I thoroughly believe that when we do that, we will see better results. So that's all that I have for you today. Feel free at any point during this fast to respond to the emails, leave a comment under these um, audio prompts, audio messages, and let me know what resonated with you. You don't have to confess your sin all on the internet now, but you know, unless the Lord leads you to, but yeah, just let me know that you listen to this and feel free to respond to the emails as well. I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of For My Sisters with Dell Podcast. Don't forget to keep the conversation going and use the hashtag For My Sisters Pod on social media so I can see you and show you some love. If there are any topics you'd like me to discuss on the podcast, be sure to email ForMySistersPodcast at gmail.com. I'll see you on the next episode. Love you. Bye.